Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Christina, and welcome to Talk with Tina, and I'm so glad that you have decided to click and join in in another video. So today's video is going to be a faith video. Um, I am going to talk about all the things I learned in 2021 um, about my relationship with Christ, what I learned through scripture, through listening to different pastors during my quiet time, um, just a little bit of everything. Um, I really want to share my growth with y'all on this channel, on my personal um, journey to just growing every day in the Lord. Um, so without any more rambling let's just get straight into this video so i wrote down everything um my notes um my prayers everything in this journal this was my 2021 bible journal and it says jesus gives us the hope we need um i got this um for christmas um last year for my mom and so i just thought that this was just a good journal and then i love the inside i just thought that was so cute with the hummingbirds because i love hummingbirds <clears throat> but yeah let's just go ahead and talk about what we came to talk about so 2021 was just a year um that i took to just really work on my relationship with Heavenly Father. Um, 2019 and 2020 were a couple of really rough years for me. I went through a really ugly um, marriage and then divorce. I was really depressed. I was really sad. And I was just really tired of having to take care of it myself. And um, so at the beginning of 2021 i'm like lord i cannot do this anymore and so you know i really need your help and so i just really wanted to get out of my dark place and just really get back into the light and i feel like i really did that so some of the things that i learned this year in my study um God wants to give us a rich and satisfying life. You know, he wants us to have a good life. He wants us to have a happy life. You know, he wants us to be, you know, us. And um, I think with that, a lot of people think rich means money, which in some aspect it does, but in a lot of ways, being rich means way more than having money and way more than having material things you know yes i have a roof over my head i have food on the table you know i have all those things but i also have my fiance and his little boy my family i've got my friends i've got you know church and most of all i've got the lord in my life and so you know i really think that like those make me rich you know in my life i feel like having those things you know i don't you know don't have a lot of money but because i have other things that makes me feel rich and my definition of rich is having your friends and your family your health your you know just everyday necessities for life um Without my friends and without my family and without my fiance, I, you know, and my trust in the Lord, I really don't know what I or would do or where I would be. Um, you know, God created me to have a living and active relationship with him and to represent him in this world. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, I really think, you know, he created us for a purpose. I mean, there's no happenstance that we're here. Um, 
you know, I think a lot about that a lot, um, coming from, you know, growing up in a Christian home, um, and being taught these things. And, you know, we, we're, we're meant to be a light in this world. We're meant to help others know him. Um, and some of the ways that he has shown me that I can do that now is through my social medias, um, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, YouTube. Um, you know, those are going to be the ways that I personally can help somebody get the message, you know, about God and about how he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us so we can be forgiven of our sins so that we wouldn't have to suffer with the grief and pain of those sins. You know, if we just ask forgiveness, he will forgive us. And to me, that's unending love. You know, that shows me that there's somebody out there that loves me unconditionally and you know, who's always going to be there to pick me up, you know, even if I'm completely alone in this world, you know, um, you know, we feel unworthy of God's love sometimes. I know I do. And, you know, it's because, you know, we don't, we sometimes feel like it's a burden and, you know, we, you know, people are critical of our faith. Um, you know, God's love is unending, but, you know, people are always going to say, no, it's not because you used to do drugs, you drink, you do blah, 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 you know, A, B, and C. But in all reality, God is never going to stop loving us because he created us. You know, it's one thing I've had to learn is, you know, I used to drink heavily. I used to, you know, hide by doing these things because I felt like a piece of crap and I felt unworthy. And, you know, God has really shown me, no, you know, I love you and you deserve my love. You know, just because you've done these things, you've asked for forgiveness. He's like, I'm going to forgive you no matter what. Um, you know, I, one of my favorite books in the Bible is James. Um, James 1.17 says, every gift is from above. And... Everything I have is because of the Lord, and everything that I need is because of the Lord. And God's love, to me, is just really shown in the book of James. You know, it just really shows me that everything that I have is because God loves me. And he wants what's best for me. And sometimes I just can't wrap my head around that. You know. Um, the next thing that he has shown me is when we live abundant lives, we stand for Jesus. Our testimonies are the fruit of God's goodness in our lives. I never really thought that I had a testimony. I never really thought that I had, you know, a testimony of who Jesus Christ was until I really sat down and really started getting into the word. Um, you know, my testimony is that his son forgave me. He died for me. And I've asked for forgiveness and I have been baptized. I've been saved. I've been baptized. And Jesus Christ has literally 
performed a miracle in my life. <laughs> you know, I really think that if he didn't intervene in my life, I really think that I would be, I would not be here because of situations in my life like the abusive relationship, the drinking, all of that. And he saved me from all of that. And he's shown me my worth and has put people in my life that are helping me stay on the path that I need to be on. And I just want to be a light for others. You know, I really want to be a light, you know, for others to see him. Um... You know, and we should always, always, always praise him for everything that he has given us. And we should always praise him for sending his son to die on the cross for us. Um, and then the last thing I really want to touch on in this video is prayer. I have always struggled with prayer. I always thought I was saying the wrong thing. I always thought that you know, I couldn't pray right. And he, my prayer life has really gotten stronger this year. Um, prayer can be about anything. Um, it can be about frustration, anger, worry, fear, sadness, brokenness. No matter what we go to him for, he can handle it all. Um, you know, if we're happy, you know, we can go in prayer and talk to him about all the things we're happy about. If we're feeling sad, we can go to him about what we're feeling sad about. You know, if we're frustrated, you know, about something that happened that day, we can just take it to him. He can handle it all and he's going to listen. Sometimes we don't feel like God listens, but he does. I know that because I've gotten answers from Heavenly Father when I've prayed. They always haven't, you know, been right away, but I've always gotten my answer. And I always know that he's listening because I always feel better after I pray. You know, that's a, prayer's a big thing. He wants to hear whatever we have to talk about. No matter, no matter what it is. And it doesn't matter where we pray. We can be praying in the car, you know, as we go down the road. You know, bedroom, living room out in public you know if there's something burdening you just let it out i know there's been times at work that i have prayed under my breath lord help me because i don't know if i can make it through the day lord thank you for putting me in this situation thank you for this job you know whatever it has been i have just stopped and prayed you know whether you know it was out loud in my head you know whatever it was and I always felt better. You know, the Lord doesn't expect us to be perfect. But as long as we are trying, that's all that matters. Um, you know, I just, I think a lot about my journey this year and growing in my relationship with Christ. And how broken... I was at the beginning of the year and where I am now and I really think that it's a miracle that God has worked in my life because he's seen the road I was going down he didn't want that for me um, you know God he listens and he blesses us and he wants what's best for his kids and I I just really want to invite you, you know, if y'all don't know who he is, reach out to me on Instagram, um, you know, comment down below. I'd be more than happy to help you um, get to know, you know, who Jesus Christ is, you know, whether it's, you know, my personal testimony, whether it's sending you scripture, whether it's sending you videos, um, whatever it may be. I invite you to find him because that's where you're going to find true joy and happiness. You know, it, the Lord is my joy. My joy doesn't come from my fiance. 
or my family. It comes from the Lord. Because I know that he is always there. And that he is never going to leave me. So I invite you to seek him. Talk to him. You know, get in the scriptures. Because you, you are blessed. And you are a child of God. And I love you. Jesus loves you. And please look into it in 2022. Because I guarantee you, you'll be so much happier. Um, it's your choice. I'm not pushing it on you. But just know, you know, do your own research. Talk to somebody. Like I said, you can DM me on Instagram or comment down below. I would love to help you. So, to wrap this whole thing up, I'm just gonna, you know, pray, love, and just find peace. Because I know I have. So I hope this video was inspiring. I hope that it gave you some joy and hope. And I will see you guys in 2022 with another video. And make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And follow me on my social medias. I will have all of them down below. Bye, guys.